what's going on guys this is nafarad medic and welcome to another video in this video i am going to take us through some important android application that you will find useful if you are a doctor a medical student a nurse a nurse student a pharmacist or any other individual that is coming in contact directly with patients to assist for their health and let the video begins right now the medical flash notes mfn and it provides information on various health conditions and procedures so browsing by condition for instance here are the various conditions based on specialty and clicking on the oncology and hematology on the sickle cell disease from the background pathophysiology epidemiology the science and the symptoms of sickle cell disease the various forms of sickle cell crisis sickle cell in pregnancy investigations to be done in patients with sickle cell the management, preventive and lifestyle support, then also the specific treatment and treatment during crisis, the complications and prognosis of sickle cell disease. And also, you can set some of your flashcards in order to review them any point that you decide. This is also a mobile application by the WHO going through the guidelines and we can now browse by chapter or search by content if we have any but browsing by chapter here are the various guidelines that can be done for management of pediatric patients and now let me go back on the fever clicking on the fever let me look for okay severe complicated measles this is for the diagnosis of the measles and this is for the treatment of the measles what to administer and how to do it here is supportive care for the patients with measles and this is for the nutritional support here are the complications that can be gotten from severe forms of measles and also the monitoring as well as the follow-up here is the public health measures to be taken when dealing with patients with measles so this is short cases in surgery it is one of the most useful apps for medical students undergoing their surgery rotation and as we can see here there are various scenario and various surgery related cases provided in the app we can see here a case of ganglion and clicking on it here is how to examine the ganglion by mentioning or looking from its side and what are the things you are expected to see and how to report those things and moving here is about how to present the case fluently without any problem here also is the library for different pictures about the condition so here is the picture for the ganglion of the backward here are the flashcards which contain the things that we need to always remember while examining and also reporting on the ganglion so here is a series of frequently asked questions so guys this is medshare and it is a platform that gives relevant health workers including the doctors the medical students and other specialists to interact with one another by giving a particular scenario where individuals will try to attempt to the scenario and give solutions to the problem mentioned i'm now scrolling down to view one of the scenario so let's see the one with at least some comments so that we should look into the discussion about it so this is a scenario given by a medical student, Tony Bijek, and he said it is a wound on the back, as we can see from the images provided here. Yeah. So, it is found on a one-day-old baby who is born at 41 weeks of gestation, vaginal, with this lesion on lumbar region. So, what is the diagnosis and approach to management? So, here we can see the related specialties that are involved and it has 11 comments and 44 followers so among the comments some are from consultant radiologists medical students specialists trainee obstetrics and gynecology they are all mentioning the diagnosis spina bipeda and also the cause as we can see here the deficiency of folic acid so the app is very useful for many students and also doctors to share their experience and also to stay connected with other health workers across the globe the medical here being the algorithm we can move here to the practice aspect 
and also in here for the videos where we can click on it to have a look at some videos and here also is for the mega corps and here for certification looking into basic life support for the adult here is the algorithm where we can look into it the criteria for high quality cpr when the patient is responsive or unresponsive what to do and what not to do so coming here to the steps so this is how it is even for the pediatrics pls and other acls the app is really interesting especially for those that are doing their emergency posting and all that that went to learn how to do the emergency exercises so this app made not and they said it is for and by medical students so let's start learning different subjects are provided for medical students to learn in this app including anatomy physiology biochemistry neuroanatomy embryology and here is a collection of pictures from cadavers and some of the diseases and some diseases are also discussed the pharmacology and also the pathology so now let's start with some pictures from the cadaver here is for the opening so here is just a front page moving next so we can even zoom it so that we can see the clear view of the picture and coming to the next picture also here is the antibracial fascia that is the started from the superficial aspect to the deep by clicking on the page number if we can move to another page let's try page 9 so here are page 9 also there is major there is uh, there is major muscle triceps cracker muscle the long head and the triceps cracker muscle the lateral head so here is for some structures including the deep artery of the heart the radial nerve are also being kit so this app is actually useful for exams more especially during the practical aspects it can help one to revise and review the various things in the app. This app clinical, actually I'm recommending it for the beginners, usually in the clinical postures, because it is useful in clicking right from the history and the examinations. So here for the history, it starts with self-introduction until other aspects of the history are completed. So here is for the initials that is the biodata of the patient and also here is for the chief or presenting complaints and this is the history of presenting complaint what to ask on it and how to approach it then the past medical history plus the surgical history also then here is the personal history and here for the social history the family history the drugs and allergic histories and also activities obstetrics and the gynecology history in case of female patients then for the symptoms they are divided according to previous systems starting with the general symptoms on headache there are various questions for headache when does it start to decide is it bilateral or unilateral and what happens what are the aggravating and relieving factors and the associated features also the initial diagnosis of various forms of headache are provided in this app and the clinical reports are also provided and this approach is done throughout the systems including the cardiovascular system the respiratory system the renal system the GIT, the psychological aspects of the history the endocrine and the musculoskeletal system for the examinations right starting from the initials he said comment on consciousness cardinals cooperation and be comfortable in position and then the first approach is using mnemonic right so you may be said wash your hand introduce yourself to the patient position the patient and expose relevant areas then check out the areas of the for the head and neck here is the airport and for the eyes here are the things checked from the eyes the whole cranial nerves can be assessed individually as we can see here for the one of the cranial and the whole the optic nerve so also the chest for the idea especially for the patient production and exploitation Likewise, the motor system, the arms, the hands, and also the abdominal examination of the inflation control, oscillation, and the genital tract, as well as other parts of the motor system. So, the app is going to use the inflation of the tennis and the genital rotation. Prognosis is a very nice app and it's 